Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, uh, welcome back to Rebecca's uh, Lifestyle. And um, I'm going to be now doing a footage video on the shrine. So, and um, it's a seven day pass, so you can come. Um, any time like within the seven days it opens from 10 a.m and it opens till late at night there's a gorgeous waterfall and um the chinese um a gorge it has some seating and um, the it is slippery surface So we do have to be careful. But at least there's something to hold on to, a rail, and uh, there'll, there'll be lights coming up at night. I mean, if I if I came again um, to Shanklin, I would like to do a night video. Um, of this place. Old fashioned lights. Um, there's also a map included. I paid um, about £8.95. Um, I think. I mean, there's child and concessionary prices. But for, uh, but for saying you can come back any time uh, within the uh, seven days, then I think it's a really good price. Beautiful waterfall. Again, it's probably not the again a great place to uh, visit um, if you are um, mobily disabled. Um, if you have mobility problems because of because there's no like there, there are steps and there's no um, like ramps to push it at, at where wheelchair users can be pushed down um, or, or by uh, carers beware of loose stones and falling from the bank but yes a lovely stream with the bridge And um, I also think 
with all the trees around it, it makes a lovely walk. And if it does start to rain, then there's a, a shelter that you can shelter and sit down. There's uh, dogs are welcome and there's a dog bin, slippery service, Shanklin Chine, um, bins and seats. So if you do need to sit down then you can do. Again, lots of seats to sit down. Beautiful stream. Uh, danger, don't, uh, don't climb the bank. Waterfall and access by the steps that way. There's lots of signs, exit, exhibition room, tea garden, toilets, gift shop that way. Pluto, Par Viewpoint, Coastal Display. Dogs must be kept on the leads at all times. So let's uh, go to the viewpoint. I think they look like, oh, so a handcraft did owl on a branch. It, so that's lovely. That, might, that shack might open into like a drinks place, um, probably in the summer. Oh, we've got a, a dinosaur display down there. This is slippery surface. Because the Isle of Wight is also known for its dinosaurs. Remained in Adrian C. Snell, 1949 to nine, uh, 2022, author of the Pluto Pipeline Under the Ocean, three editions, five reprints, and Isle of Wight War, uh, 1939 to 1945. Beloved friend, there's a bench to sit on. Adrian's baby Bron uh, Brontosaurus. Um, it is actually called a Patasaurus now. And this is it here. Lovely egg. Let's go up these steps here. It's 
some big chops down there. I don't think I'll venture right, right up there um, taking the video because there's nothing to hang on to. That's the stop. on the historic in the late uh, 19th century cr uh, criminals were put in the stocks a bit of a history for you wow coastal educational display let's check this out wow that's a lovely view of the sea it has some seats so you can sit down Telling you all about the dot, what what does the future hold? The art and culture, coastal archaeology and heritage, natural environment, protecting people and property all around the Isle of Wight, and how island white coastline is managed coastal erosion and cliff falls land start slides chines and their information and features like black gang chine which is another island another chine on the island and also a theme park There's also Whale Chine, Averfield, head of Shanklin and Shepherds Chine, Averfield. Uh, the, fourth, um, the formation of the Isle of Wight coast, geology and scenery, like around Needham Rock and, and Aloon Bay, discovering the Isle of Wight coastline and there's also a bin so yes um that is a place of shelter and um, if it does it uh, start to rain uh, which is always good or um you want to keep out the sun Looks like a new egg in the making up there.
but I would imagine that would be a shop or in the summer more and these are very old pieces of equipment Oh, this is a gorgeous swirl here. Wow, that's lovely. Some more animals. There's also Ben. Beautiful. Screen and bridge. another seat here there's lots of like powerful walkways Naria Genius of about 45 species of the summer The varying size There's uh, the baby Brontosaurus and the egg. A stony path. There's another stream. also get that way um, up to like the visitor centre oh gosh there's a cannonball here shanking iron cannon Tells you all about the iron cannon. Another dinosaur egg. But yes, you can get up that way to some more information. Or if it starts raining. Jeff, uh, this is Jeffrey the Triceratops. They were about 9 metres in length and weighed 5 tonnes. Bigger males would have weighed almost as much as a Tyrannosaurus, it says, because they are very heavy. And then there's a dinosaur egg to go with it. I absolutely, if you don't know me by now, I absolutely love dinosaurs and pa uh, paleo paleontology or the paleontology Victorian hot green bath. We've 
removed from the fisherman's cottage, 7th of May 1970. Wow, this is uh, turning into a really long video. <laughs> I do apologise, but there's just so much to see in this uh, chine. Um, a stalk and some fish, a fish tank. I bet this would be a nice video. Type of handmade, it looks like rock sort, sort of thing, and a bit of a waterfall there. That might be another place to sit. But yes, this is a really good place for scenery and history at the, sa the same time. And um, bits of paleontology and this is lit up at night a bit of shelter and this looks like like a tea room and a museum at or shop at the same time. Yes, yeah, you can buy things from here as well. A penny press, the old penny press. Charity, Coltridge Heritage of Isla White. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. A museum at, at, or visitor centre. After numerous experiments and poor starts, what became known as the case chaos was finally developed. If you haven't already checked this uh, place out, I, I would seriously recommend it. And uh, unless you've got uh, really bad, obviously, mobility problems. You can also uh, sit down. Uh, there's a sanitizer, toilets. And this is the other part to the museum. staff only and this is also a takeaway menu if you wanted to take away or there we go lots of different types of See it's seating benches and that's another egg cottage type building. Wow.
French art, Victorian Chew, Victorian Time Cop. And here's some beautiful artwork, the, gla the, the glass gorge. Needles, Freshwater Bay, Carisbrook ca uh, Castle, Stephen Hill Cove, Royal Hotel Ven Venor. That's another place that I'd like to if I visited. Um, the Isle of Wight again, which I hope to, is uh, to go to Ven Venor, which is not far from here. That uh, this is a penny press. Roman or the uh, Roman emperors. Very smoking pipes, medieval pottery. This is all about the fisherman's cottage and the chime, the chime from the sea. Lots of old photographs, the chime gate. And now this is, uh, we can, all the birds have been moved to new homes. This site is under construction. Oh, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind coming in here again to see what the site construction's going to be. So yes, I would like to visit here again. some beds that's no entry they're probably developing a new attraction to the time is nice lots of greenery here which is lovely do not touch this is Jock the T-Rex one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived Tyrannosaurus was a first a fierce carnivore and was believed to have been able to eat up to 500 uh, pounds LEBS of meat in one bite. Wow, and it is it's probably a juvenile a Tyrannosaurus. A, a large male or female would be absolutely huge because they grow around uh, 12 meters long. Another egg up there. Oh, that's just some seating up there.
Oh, it does say no entry there, so... I think I will go back now. Thank you for staying with us all this uh, time. I really do appreciate it. It's one of the longest videos I've ever done. <laughs> this is the waterfall and exit. And uh, yes, I would definitely recommend coming unless you're uh, unless obviously you're in a wheelchair because there's no ramps that's a that's the beautiful bit at bridge. So the next video I'm going to be doing um, is uh, Shanklin Bay um, again today. Um, so and uh, the beachfront and what there is to do around there. I am so glad. Um, I've managed to fit this in today and I will definitely come back again so I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye